Okay, so when we had the nice brain fog video just then, where I'm talking about handling um, the manure <laughs> in our lives, you know what I mean? You know, all the battles and rubbish and trying not to um, say swear words, so handling the manure in our lives. And I'm realising I'm having constant manure. I mean, having good times, don't get it wrong. Um, but yeah, since a young age, from remembering, life has not always been manure, <laughs> but there's been a lot of manure to always try and handle, and I'm sure everybody can agree in their own individual way, because um, we're all individuals and we all have different ways of doing things, yeah, that's it, handling stuff and learning, and yeah, the list goes on. But, um, <laughs> manure, <laughs> immature manure, what a brilliant word, anyway, so, um, as you, <laughs> as you're handling and wading through, if you don't learn from whatever the situation may be, it will just keep happening from different angles, constantly, telling, look, look, learn, well, that's what I found anyway, and I'm sure you all have as well. So, but if you're somebody who doesn't have a lot of manure in their lives, A, I envy you <laughs> in some aspects. No, I don't actually. Yeah, I quite like the manure in my life because it keeps leveling me up. So I take it back. I don't envy you. But in a way, my only advice to you is Go out and get some. Go out and fail, suck, um, get your heart broken. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know, I'm, I've run out of reasons. But yeah, just get that manure, just shoved at you. Because, <laughs> that sounds terrible, get that manure just shoved at you. <laughs> um... Don't actually do that because you'll stink. <laughs> but um, what what will happen is you'll grow resilient, and resilience is key to life. I think anyway, personally, because resilience is the difference between somebody cutting their finger and thinking the world's gonna end, and someone having stage four cancer. Um. And smiling and happy, knowing what's going to happen next. That person's got true resilience. Whereas the cut finger person has a lot to learn. Has a lot of manure. That, not, not they're wrong. They're at a stage of life they're at. But they need manure thrown at them. You know, they need to learn that resilience. I keep saying need. They don't need to. No one needs to do anything. But it may help. <laughs> Um, yeah, <laughs> my life is just constant manure, <laughs> but, um, quite like, the, well, not constant, I've had brilliant times, of course, but there's been a lot going on in life from an early age that has just thrown manure. Own your manure, learn from your manure, you know, become... <laughs> a manure master <laughs> I don't I don't even know where my head's going anymore I mean, that's terrible anyway I've got where I was even going on this but yeah the more thrown at you the more you can learn from it the easier life will get because you'll grow that resilience um, and you probably already know that anyway but Learn from it. Don't beat yourself up. You're not perfect. No one's perfect. Nobody. Anyone that says they're perfect is a liar. But. Manure. Is your friend. <laughs> anyway. Hopefully you understood what I'm saying. And you know that I'm speaking of metaphors. And try not to swear. Don't go and jump in a pile of manure. Because um, you will stink.
<laughs> Mind you, it'd be a good way to learn. Learn not to jump in the pile of manure. <laughs> anyway, take care. And as always, keep on smiling. <laughs>